Well, that's one way to start off a trip with a bang, but whatever. We'll let you know if anything happens, but it's just a sensor issue, it looks like, um, which shouldn't be an issue. It's at least going to put me at ease knowing that um, the tires are filled with the air that they need, and it should be fine. An hour and a half left. Let's go. We're almost there, kind of, not really. We have an hour and 37 more minutes and then we'll be there. If you did not know, now you know. I'm going to the mountains and I have no game plan whatsoever. The only thing that I have planned is that I want to go to this really, really cool waterfall. It's a little bit of a hike. So I brought all my hiking accessories. That's what we're gonna do right now. I put directions, I didn't know where to put directions on. So directions are going straight to the waterfall mountain and hiking area that I want to go to so um, we're headed straight there oh wow I'd rather get the hike done this morning before it hits 90 degrees which it is going to today and it's going to be brutally hot I decided to head north to the mountains because it's going to be even hotter back home so the more north you go usually the you know the colder it gets so that's the game plan we're headed north 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 quite possibly the most north I've ever been in New Hampshire. So yeah, we're going to the White Mountains. If you don't know what the White Mountains are, it is probably the most breathtaking, beautiful, and everything amazing that um, New England has to offer. Like, New England has a lot of cool things to offer, but I think the White Mountains really, really showcases just how beautiful the Northeast is. And I can't wait to share it with you guys because it is easily one of my favorite places. I've only gone there twice, and the area that I'm going to in the White Mountains, I've never been to. I've never, ever, 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 ever been to this town. I've only been to one town twice. Uh, and, you know, the White Mountains are pretty big, so we're gonna head to the White Mountains. I'm so stoked right now. We're gonna go on a beautiful hike this morning and then take it from there. The day is young. We left at 3 a.m. this morning on purpose so we could get this hike done before it gets really hot out, and I'm just really excited right now. So we're gonna be truck camping, camping out of the truck, finding some camp spots, fishing, you name it, we're gonna do it. I can't wait. This is my first video of the season in the mountains, so get ready. This is gonna be fun, and uh, we'll see where the day takes us. I'm so nervous for this hike, but I'm ready. So right behind me is actually the main road and they came up with an idea for people to not have to cross the main road to get to the falls and the hike. So here's the map. We are right here at the Glen Ellis Falls. And uh, yeah, we were pretty pretty high up right now in the White Mountains. Haven't had cell service in quite some time. And yeah, they do allow backcountry camping pretty much everywhere here too. It's pretty cool. Again, the road. The road's right here, beautiful mountains. And so you don't have to cross the main road. They built this. Definitely pretty slippery. <laughs> That's sick. That is cool. Wow, it is so beautiful. Wow. I think that's the top of the falls right there. Oh yeah, we're at the top of the falls. That is sick. We gotta get down there.
speechless. Absolutely speechless right now. I would say that's pretty good water. Maybe maybe better than life water in Dasani. Cheers. Mother Nature, sometimes we fight, but today, I love you. I'm gonna back the truck in so the tailgate view is of the mountains and um, the truck is locked. Sorry, my hair is an absolute mess, but I did some TLC to the truck hamper. We got a new sheet and you know, it, I know it's pink, I know it's pink, but it kind of matches like the summer feel. And I took the green grass out and Lila and I put this stuff down and I actually really love it. Um, but yeah, it just makes it look a lot more neat, which is ideal because the truck hamper honestly started to look really messy with that green stuff because it would just pick up dirt way too much. We definitely have an issue. I don't have any connection and I did not download my route on Google Maps, which is usually what you're supposed to do before you get to the mountains is like download your Google Maps and whatever. But I remember checking last night and if I go that way and keep going north, in like 20 minutes we're gonna hit a town and it looks really fishy. Like it looks like, not like fishy, like creepy, like fishy, like there's fish in there and I would love to uh, see if we could catch something and cook it up for like a brunch because it's not necessarily going to be lunchtime by the time we're done fishing if we catch something but it'll be like a brunch I would say so let's go fishing and head to this town and hopefully we don't get lost and fingers crossed let's go see if we can catch some fish we're starting off the day strong we got some fresh mountain water Beautiful view. I mean, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That was just absolutely incredible. I sat out there for like an hour just, I don't know, enjoying it all. So, much needed. Now let's head more north with no connection to the absolute unknown. Sounds fun to me. about to fish this river I don't know how well I, I don't even know if you guys can see it but there's a really beautiful river right next to me and some guy came up to me um, after I was grabbing my rods and he said not to fish there because there's three different mills that uh, come through this river or well or like is at the mouth of the river or whatever and don't eat the fish here and I was like darn it once I was actually gonna eat the fish I catch and he gave me a spot and he said go here and you'll catch trout so we're gonna go here, it's literally four minutes away. Could suck, I'm not sure. But if it's good, then it's good. So we're gonna go there and um, test it out. And if it's bad, we'll just come right back here. It's quick drive and there's 
fish catches here on Fish Brain. So we got two spots to try. Let's do it. All right, he said cross the road and then you'll find the walking path. Um, I don't see it. Oh, here we go. He said he fishes here all the time. Every time a local gives me advice, I feel like it's almost cheating because I really wanted to figure out the fish by myself, but I'm gonna take this. Oh, wow. He was not lying when he said it was so clear here. Oh my goodness. Listen to the locals. Always listen to the locals. Holy, this is sick. I mean, this is ridiculous. I've seriously never seen water so clear in my entire life. Oh my God, guys. I don't even want to catch a, I don't, I feel, I, what are you, what? Are we joking? First cast. Wow. Just incredible. I don't even know what to say. Woohoo! I'm wearing my sneakers. Oh, trout, 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 trout. That's a massive trout. Oh my god, he went for it. He went for it. Are you kidding? This is so cool. I don't even care if I don't catch him. That was that was cool enough for me. He went after it. He went after it again. He swiped at it. Are you kidding me? Are we about to sight fish a, a trout? Is this real life? Oh, oh, oh my God. He came after it. He came after it. There's another fish I found. There's two fish in this hole right here. Oh, he hit it. He hit it! He hit it! Oh, I'm shaking. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. I know. I know. I know. He keeps swerving at it. Like, I know he wants it. But I also have a micro jerk bait rigged up. I'm shaking. This is so cool. I did not expect to honestly catch a fish, but here we are. Oh, he just hit top water. I have no idea. If you guys saw that, but that was sick. Oh, oh my god! He hit the jerk bait! Sorry, this is so immature of me. Um, I'm sounding like a 12-year-old girl, but this is so cool. He just hit top water, dude. Right in front of me. heard a lot about this store and everyone always tells me to go I know it's gonna have everything I want to buy so this is going to be dangerous but I'm looking for a camping meal for tonight for dinner like some sort of pre-packaged dehydrated meal because I just checked the weather and it's uh it's gonna be pouring so we need something a little bit easier to cook tonight for dinner so I'm hoping they'll have some dehydrated meals for us but we'll see Good, how are you? There you go. Thank you. I want to borrow your day. Yeah, you as well. Fishing, fail. We tried so hard. We went to multiple different spots. We didn't catch anything. It was a huge bummer. But I'm going to spend legitimately all day tomorrow going after trout. So, stay tuned for that video. Anyways, if you watched my last video that I filmed on this channel, you're going to laugh so hard. Or maybe you're not going to laugh as hard as I did, I don't know, but I found it hilarious. This is mango sticky rice. A dehydrated meal, mango sticky rice. This thing is insane. Look, this blew my mind. Um, I'm gonna make this. This has a 
lot of uh, calories and, and carbs packing on this thing. Like, oh my God, that's insane. This is insanely un unhealthy for you. Pretty much all these usually are. This one's actually not bad, um, like health wise. I would say this is this is probably one of the most healthy ones that I ran into at the store. So I got that one and it's Thai curry. How can you not like Thai curry? I'm obsessed with Thai curry. And we got mango sticky rice that we're gonna try and only probably only a couple bites just because it's really not good for you. I'm trying to be healthy. Um, well, not trying. I've been doing really good for almost a month now. Counting calories and whatever, doing my diet. But um, wow, yeah, that was that store was insane. The fact that I didn't spend money is what's blowing my mind the most. I'm really proud of myself. I had a lot of self control. But yeah, I just checked the weather. Well, I looked up at the sky and I was like, yeah, that doesn't look good. I looked at the weather. It is indeed going to be pouring. I have some service in this town that we're in right now. But it says rain's gonna start in 14 minutes and it says it's going to be a severe thunderstorm. So let's see how severe it can get. I literally have only ate one special K bar today and have just been hopping around and driving and doing my thing and pretty exhausted, but I'm excited to kick back and enjoy the rainstorm coming with you guys and then making some Thai curry and mango sticky rice. I'm gonna keep searching for a campsite. I do have one spot in mind that I'm totally okay with camping at. So that might be our spot for the night, but if not, I'll let you guys know. I'm still searching for that, that perfect nice little spot for the night in the good old mountains. Fishing um, was an L. I probably tried for five hours. Our water is boiling for the mango sticky rice. I can't even begin to say how long we trout fish for, but our truck camper is right here. And then all we gotta do is go under here get through these bushes and we're at a pristine trout stream over a bridge pretty sweet little camping spot for the night this bag is going to take 20 minutes which is the longest i've ever had to wait for one of these which is pretty crazy and then this one right here takes 15 minutes so we're going to be trying that one first it looks like even though that's dessert i'm going to clean this all up really quick we tried really hard to trout fish today. I'm gonna spend roughly half a day plus tomorrow. Like I'm waking up at 4 a.m., driving an hour plus north and going to trout fish. So if you see me trout fish in the next episode, that means I don't completely suck. But I'm gonna try my hardest seriously to do a trout video for you guys because I know how much you guys are dying to see like a trout catch and cook up in the mountains. I just couldn't make it happen today. I wanted to put in this video so bad, but it's only day one. It is only day one in the mountains. I could be here for two weeks, who the hell knows. So let's wait on dinner. Normally I would, you know, obviously pick out 
like a crazy meal and chef it up. You guys know I like to really cook and you know start from scratch and I'm, I'm learning on a lot of cooking things. I'm not the best cook but I really enjoy cooking. But tonight didn't work out. It is hot, it's been raining on and off. Um, it's the second hottest day I've ever fished in my entire life so I I kind of figured that now is the time to uh, for once just do one of these meals. And there are two meals I'm pretty excited about. So I'm sorry I put my, my best effort in. I, well over five hours honestly was probably spent trout fishing. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go inside the truck cap because it's still pretty hot. We have another like hour and a half before the sun goes down. Let's try our meals and uh, hopefully it's good. Hopefully dinner's good. It is definitely time to try the mango sticky rice. If you did not watch the last video, I mean, it's it's funny, because that's literally what I made in my last video. Mango sticky rice isn't supposed to be orange. Mango sticky rice doesn't smell like that. Cheers. No. Oh. There's no way someone was like, yep, let's put this on the market. This tastes so good. It tastes like soap. I love mango sticky rice. Okay, that's just not it. I don't know if it's been 20 minutes. Dude, if this one's not good, we're, we're starving. I've never had a bad like camping meal before. That was the first bad one I've ever had. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Thai curry. I love Thai food, obviously. Mango sticky rice is Thai food. In case you didn't know. Um but yeah, anyways. Wow. I think it needs like a couple more minutes to reheat or sorry rehydrate that's good <laughs> mm. proudly made in Maine that's sick yeah this isn't bad it's it's really not bad I would definitely rate this one pretty high I'm actually really excited to eat this one spicy yellow yes okay here here we go <laughs> spicy yellow coconut curry with vegetables and jasmine rice handcrafted in our own kitchen in small batches with clean ingredients one serving per pouch gluten-free not that that really matters but it's pretty crazy there's 10 grams of protein in this, which these camping meals are usually packed with carbs, calories, and everything under the sun because, you know, they're meant for camping, which we are doing, but we do not need that many calories and carbs. I'm probably only going to eat half of this. During like the middle of the rainstorm when it was downpouring, I didn't want to drive. I didn't feel safe anymore driving um, in the mountains because of how bad the rain was coming down. So I ended up stopping at one of the restaurants and it was like hole in the wall something restaurant and it was really really good like really really good I had uh sushi rolls I had shrimp tempura dragon something so that was my lunch and then this is my dinner and that's pretty much all I ate today besides of a special k bar it's a pretty good meal pretty good like stagnant for first day camping but we're gonna make um way better camping meal I just, it's so hard to cook in the truck camper when it's raining. I think next time it's raining, I'm gonna actually cook in here and cook like on the middle seat. But yeah, this is good. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I'll probably eat like half of this and, and call it a day, but hey, cheers. Day number one, pretty well. 
I can't wait for the sun to go down so I can go lay back there, put my little fan on and go to sleep because I've been up since 3 a.m. I got the window open. I've just been kind of hanging out. Honestly, it's really relaxing right here. I'm just looking at the river and the bridge and just super relaxed and hanging out, man. Feels good. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm so tired. There's so many campsites around me right now, but they're all like 40 to 50 bucks. So we're saving 40 to 50 bucks tonight at this little spot. Put that curtain up. Well, it's really a blanket, but my curtain. Safety. Just so crazy. Like, these campsites charge so much money. That's just not necessary. Well, I'm gonna probably put my pajamas on and get ready for bed. And yeah, definitely gonna be an early, early night for me. Oh, I'm gonna put my hair in a side braid. I got the fan going. I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe, maybe not. It is 77 degrees in here. Not the best, but not the worst. Um, yeah, definitely. It definitely sucks, but the fan's helping a lot. So, and it's just going to get colder throughout the night. So hopefully we'll wake up and sleep nicely through like 73, shooting for 73 tonight, 73 degrees. It is terrible, but it is so worth it. But I'm going to hit the hay. Night number one has come to a close and I am exhausted. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll catch you in the morning. It is 4.40 a.m. and I am headed north, very north. The goal is to hang around the area and either spend today or the next day trout fishing, um, literally sunset to sunrise. I will catch a trout. <laughs> I'm going to do it. So we're going to end off today's video here and I'm going to go exploring. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the first episode of the mountain series. I think we're going to probably film at least two. I don't want to just film a video just to film a video on the mountains. I would like it to be, you know, good. So there's that. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for everything. I appreciate the hell out of you. And thank you for all the love. Keep liking, commenting, and subscribing, doing all that good stuff. Thank you for taking the time out of your day and clicking on today's episode. And I will catch you beautiful people on the next one.